Hi there, and welcome to CCPS's Science Review Lab. Today, we're going to be taking a look at Earth, specifically Earth's surface. So let's take a look at these two images. Tell me what you see. How do you think they're related? Well, if we zoom back to some of the content we covered in sixth grade, we can take a look at Earth's surface and see that it's broken down into different parts. Remember the theory of plate tectonics? That talked about Earth's surface being broken down into tectonic plates. Now, we had two different types of crust over the plates. We had the thicker continental crust and then the thinner but more dense oceanic crust. And when those plates underneath the crust moved, it kept Earth's surface changing. So if we look at our image here, we've got our oceanic crust. Here's an example of over here. And then we've got our continental crust over here in an example. And we know that those plates move around because of the convection currents within the mantle. So as that magma churns and turns slowly, it's responsible for the movement of this crust, the plates that support the crust. Now, in places like we've got right here where we've got that mid Atlantic, they got that mid-oceanic ridge or that oceanic ridge there, you've got two oceanic plates moving apart and pushing up through them you have hot magma that is forming new ocean floor and if you remember we referred to that process as sea floor spreading. So as those plates move and Earth's surface change, one of the end results is a new ocean floor. If you come over here, you can see that we have the continental crust and we've got a chunk of oceanic crust. Because they are pushing together and that oceanic crust is denser, it is going to subduct or slide underneath that continental crust. And when it does, it forms this trench on Earth's surface. Okay, so you're going to get that, you're going to get that trench there. Now let's move all the way over here to the right. And you'll notice we have two chunks of continental crust being pulled apart. Okay, you've got those plates moving in separate directions. They are moving apart. And as that happens, we're getting a rift zone. And that, my loves, is actually what you saw in this picture right here. This is a picture of the Kenyan rift. This is cutting across Kenya, the continent of Africa. You've got plates moving apart and you're coming up with this rift. Now over here, we've got volcanic islands. Islands that were developed as a result of Earth's surface changing, volcanic eruptions changing Earth's surface. So when we ask how are these two images related, they are related because what we see is the byproduct of the theory of plate tectonics where we have those plates constantly, slowly, sometimes quickly, violently moving and changing Earth's surface. If we want to go back and see what else you remember, if you go down to the comments, you can see this Dive Discover link. Click on that. It's going to take you over here to this Play Tectonic Quiz. Six simple questions. And your teacher is going to tell you how he or she wants evidence that you've passed this quiz. Good luck.